Welcome to PC Woods Kids Tech Talk. Today I wanted to show you the memory that I'm using, the Kingston HyperX DDR2 1066 MHz. Now this one here comes in a 4 GB kit. They're 1 GB modules, right? So there's four pieces here. And it's as you can see, it's got a blue metallic cover on it. So that serves as a heat sink too. So when we go and tweak this, it'll um, keep it cooled off. Now, one of the things that we need to look at here is do we run these in a ganged mode or unganged? Do we run it at the default 800 MHz 55518 at 1.8 volts or do we increase it to 55515 at 2.2 volts? So obviously this has been optimized to run at 1066 at 2.2 volts. We want to make sure that we align the notch on the motherboard slots and you install them correctly so you don't damage those motherboard memory slots and then once you press them in firmly the latches on the sides will click into place. So installing it is not a big deal, but configuring it is a big deal, okay? So one of the things that we wanna review here is do we run it in ganged mode, which will basically allow us to optimize this for um, performance at 128 bit or unganged mode. So that means each memory is allocated to a specific core. So if you're using a quad core, for example, you can ungang it and then have it run at 64 bit and, uh, and, you know, see if it makes a difference, right? For some applications that are multi-threaded, unganged mode is actually better than running it in a ganged mode. So 3D games, your Windows Vista 64-bit, Adobe Photoshop, those are all multi-threaded applications that run better if you run it in unganged mode. But the default is ganged. So when you first install your RAM, if you don't do anything in the BIOS, you're going to get this, right? Look at what we have here in CPU-Z, right? Here's the four gigs dual mode and you can see it's ganged right and the memory timings there you can see them 5 5 5 and then 18 for the TRAS okay so what we want to do is go into the BIOS and change the TRAS to 15 and change the voltage to 2.2 volts those are those are the only two tweaks that we really need to do because everything else is automatically set up to 555 so you go into your BIOS into your DRAM timing configuration screen and then you scroll down to TRAS and change it to 15. Save it, reboot, and then you'll go back into your CPU-Z and you'll see that the TRAS now says 15 clocks instead of 18. Now if you don't have CPU-Z and you're using an AMD processor like myself here, you can run the AMD overdrive utility which gives you tons of information about the RAM that you have installed as well as the voltage and the memory timings. All of that is in there as well. So you can see here, I can get the same information and more than uh, in CPU-Z with the AMD Overdrive Utility. Look at the voltage though. You can increase it here, and I've increased it to 2.2 volts, right? 2.2 is the uh, DDR voltage that Kingston recommends. And when you run 3 Mark, if I don't do anything, no voltage increase, nothing, I get 12338. That's the default score without optimizing the memory, okay? If I go back into the BIOS and tweak it like I just showed you to TRAS 15 and 2.2 volts, it's now 12451. So obviously there's, a, there's an increase in performance by doing what I just did. Now if I go back into the BIOS and ungang it, so there is an option in the BIOS to gang it or, or disable ganging, it still is 12446. So there is a slight difference there in the score. So the thing is, to try it out and I did try it out with games and I did notice a few frames per second faster in unganged mode so I definitely recommend this memory if you're trying to tweak it and overclock it and I'd like to thank uh, Kingston for providing it and I hope you enjoyed this video and thank you for watching.